This is EasyOSX, and today I'm helping you make an El Capitan flash drive. Yeah, this seems like an odd video to make. I mean, who needs to make a recovery drive for a version of macOS that's almost 8 years old? Long story short, I had a friend who asked me to help them wipe and restore a 2009 MacBook because the recovery partition got messed up. You might think a recovery drive with a newer version of macOS would work, but sadly it doesn't due to formatting issues and, in this particular case, the Mac's own limitations. You might also think that this video is still unnecessary because Apple offers 10.11 El Capitan on its website for download. Until you realize the upgrader file doesn't have the install ESD package, meaning if you try to run it on a machine that never had or could upgrade El Capitan to begin with, such as Apple Silicon machines, the installer file just fails to run. El Capitan is no longer available in the App Store and you can't run the terminal command to get older versions of macOS to get it either. So what do you do? Depends on what Mac you're using. Also, after I completed the first draft of this tutorial for my website, Linus Tech Tips released a video talking about the last Apple Xserve and documented their own troubles getting El Capitan. Quite the timing. If you've got a Mac that either came with or was officially compatible with El Capitan, pretty much any Mac from 2007 to 2015, then you can use that upgraded file from Apple. I've got the direct link in the description, but if for some reason Apple ever takes it down, skip to the next section. Assuming the link is still active, you can download the El Capitan upgrader from Apple. It may take a bit to download, so be patient with it as it downloads a file called installmacosx.dmg. Once the download completes, double click the file and it will run a quick check of the machine to ensure that your machine is capable of running 10.11. Once it's done, click through the installer and let it install El Capitan. It doesn't actually install anything other than put the install OS X El Capitan app in your applications folder. And it's this you can use to create your El Capitan recovery drive on a USB drive, which you can check out my video for how to do. But suppose you're running a machine made in 2016 or onward, perhaps even an Apple Silicon machine. Since Apple is only offering the upgrade file for compatible Macs and you can't download the full installer from the App Store anymore, we have to go about getting it another way. Fortunately, someone had the foresight to upload the 10.11 installer to the Internet Archive. Now I, like many good techies, would rarely ever tell you to download a program from anywhere other than the official source or legitimate digital stores such as the Mac App Store, Steam, etc. Especially something as big as an entire operating system. However, it seems Apple has chosen not to perfectly preserve this OS for us, so we have to rely on the community and those who work to archive and preserve software. And while the Internet Archive is a very community-driven resource, it is also a well-regarded and reliable tool for just these sorts of purposes. So I'm giving it a pass, and you should support it if you can. With that said, you'll need to download the 10.11 zip file from the Internet Archive. I've got a link to the page as well as a direct link to the zip file in the description. Even for my fast, stable network connection, it still took about 45 minutes for the 5GB file to download. Be patient with it. You'll have a zip file in your downloads folder once it's done. Double click the file, allow it to unzip, and in a few moments you should have an install OSX El Capitan app next to your zip file. I recommend dragging this to your applications folder. Like I mentioned before, I've got a link to that video here if you want to check it out. If you want the short version though, you can use the install disk creator app from macdaddy.io and configure it from there. Again, check out my earlier video for a more detailed guide. Thank you all so much for watching, if this video helped you out then give it a like, it'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, then you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website, easyosx.net, as well as our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.